Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds. So let's do another controversial topic. Ah, we all love those, don't we? So we did one a while back ago, and I'm going to leave the link over here, up there, you know, one of those places where you can watch how long I think honeycombs last and brood combs and all that kind of stuff. And opinions are like noses. We all have one, hopefully. Mine just happens to be pretty big. So I, I try really to keep my... Uh, my mind open to different things. I've definitely learned lessons the hard way over the years many, many times. But I have changed my mind in a lot of ways. When I first got into beekeeping, I bought into the whole lot of sugar's bad for bees. And, and really the topic on this is not going to be just that, but primarily does feeding your bees make them lazy? Or is it not good for them? Question mark, question mark. And surprisingly, just like everything in our adult lives, is complicated. Oh man, we thought it was hard when we were teenagers. Goodness gracious. No, this is real life, folks, so that means there is really no one straight answer typically, and it depends. However, things don't translate always from what works for us to what works for the bees. And what I mean by that is sugar for the human body is pretty bad for us because our digestive systems are very different than the honeybees. We actually don't run off of sugar and we do need a certain degree of small amounts of sugar, primarily fats though, healthy fats and stuff like that. But when we eat a lot of refined sugar, it actually takes minerals from our body to be able to break it down appropriately and therefore it strips minerals from our bodies. One of the reasons why I think we suffer from so many chronic problems in this country is because we are eating many times the amount of sugars than we were gener a few generations ago. All right, so enough about the health and nutrition. What about the bees? So with the bees, they are designed to use nectar as fuel. Nectar is really not a source of nutrition for honeybees. Actually, the bees filter it out multiple times before they store it in the combs. And there are a lot of these websites that I've never heard of before. But they get plastered all over Facebook and bee groups and, you know, and half of them, you can tell they've never been in a beehive in their life, but they're just reposting information because talking about dying bees is really popular right now. It's very, not popular here, let me tell you. The only thing that's popular here is making more bees and more good queens. But they will tell you that feeding sugar syrup is bad for your bees, and they would be wrong. It really depends. Now, is it better than nectar? No. Is it better sometimes than honey? Yeah. What? And you're like, whoa. You know, but actually, many beekeepers up north have found that bees overwinter better on sugar syrup than they do off of some of the honeys that are made up there in the north and that's partially because of the crystals they have in them and some of them have too much mineral content and I wonder if maybe some honeydew uh, honey gets in there and who knows there's a lot of stuff we have to learn in this section of beekeeping but the problem is if there's a lot of roughage in the honey or whatever you're feeding then that's going to cause it to be harder on your bees to overwinter on that because they don't use nectar or honey or sugar syrup for nutrition they use it for fuel. They use it so they can fly. They use it so they can uh, twitch their bodies in the winter and generate body heat to maintain the cluster. They use it to gorge on and produce wax scales underneath their abdomen. It is a fuel source. It's more like the gas you put in your car than it is for the food that we eat. Now their source of nutrition comes from proteins and fats and all the micro and macro nutrients they find in pollens. So when it comes to feeding your bees sugar syrup, don't be afraid to do that. And does it make them lazy? Absolutely not. There are some folks that have said that for as long as I've been into beekeeping. And I've read some bee books that have said that long before I think I was even born. So we like to think that if you're feeding your bees that they're going to slack on their foraging. That is absolutely not the case whatsoever. What happens is the bees determine what they are going to forage on based on the sugar content. That's how they do everything. There might be a 10 acre field of some type of beautiful looking flowers that's producing a little bit of nectar. But if there's a smaller patch of clover that's like a 40% sugar content and that stuff out in the field's only like a 12, 
they are going to go for that smaller patch primarily. They'll send probably some over there, but they go for what's efficient and what's going to give them the most return on their invested time. That's the way the bees do things. Uh, Dr. Seeley has some really good literature on how the bees determine on what they're going to forage on. So it's all about the quality to the bees. And if you're feeding your bees, that's not going to slow them down on that whatsoever. Now, some people, we've got a lot to cover here. So some people are going to say, well, feed your bees until they stop taking it. Because once they have enough from nature, they'll stop taking it. That is also a partial truth and not always the case because if, I guarantee you if I use my frame feeders and I put some sugar syrup in there it doesn't matter if I'm in the middle of my honey flow they are going to take that because they don't view that as incoming nectar from the field they view that as a spill in the hive and they will consume that now if you have a an entrance feeder which some people use those or you have a, a feeder outside of the hive that they're flying to yes they will stop going after those if there's a lot of nectar coming in because they are focused on what is most valuable to them at the time. So you can feed your bees while honey's coming in. And if you do that and you're harvesting honey, you're going to have uh, funny honey. So let's not do that. But as far as will it make your bees lazy, absolutely not. The bees have a... They are basically biological computers. They never know when to stop, and that's what makes them so good at honey production. There are thousands of types of pollinators around the world, and there is no other creature like the honeybee. The honeybee was made to produce honey and gather and gather and gather and gather it, and there's no end in sight. As long as they can, they will. To the point that if this colony is weak and they have honey up in here and they can, they're going to go over and rob this colony because they're, it's not really greed but they just never, they can never have enough. So don't worry about feeding your bees and making them lazy. Don't worry about feeding your bees sugar syrup and making them sickly. One thing you have to watch out for, and this is one of the reasons why we don't feed it, is there's other types of feeds out there like high fructose corn syrup, and some people will tell you to make these different mixtures of sugar syrups. And you gotta watch them because if you're adding a lot of content to your sugar syrup, it might not necessarily hurt your bees, but it, it could be a little poor for them. I mean, I've never found a good reason to put additives into my feed. I've tried it. I've tried products. I've never found anything better than having a healthy colony with just some straight sugar syrup feed. High fructose corn syrup you have to watch out for because if it gets hot and it gets old, it'll develop some really toxic uh, uh, chemicals or a chemical. It's HMF. I can't remember what it stands for. It's just like words that long and, you know, here in Tennessee, we don't do anything bigger, you know, than about ten letters, you know. So, <laughs> like dinner or something like that. Anyways, don't roll your eyes at me, but just uh, be careful when you listen to somebody on feeding your bees. There's some variables out there. Another variable is like with our queen candy. Our queen candy has some cornstarch in it from where we use honey and powdered sugar, and in the powdered sugar, there's a little bit of cornstarch. Now, feeding that during this time of the year, the bees can get out and they can fly and they can relieve themselves. Feeding that throughout the winter can cause some dysentery problems. Don't feed your bees brown sugar. Don't feed them organic sugar that is not refined because those minerals, the bees are gonna have to refine that out of their guts. This is a complicated world we live in and there's a lot of people that'll give you information based off of their emotions instead of giving you information based off of facts. So. If you have the natural stuff, it's always better than sugar syrup. Sometimes. It's a little complicated. Adulting's a little hard. And these bees won't leave me alone. So anyways, if you have any comments or questions on feeds, it's an interesting world we live in and there's a lot more to learn. It's kind of what makes it exciting. It's why I'm attracted to beekeeping because I know if I live to be 100, I am still going to be scratching my head trying to either make something work better trying new equipment out, breeding for a even better bee, or uh, maybe even trying to figure out a couple of different types of feeds. If you have any comments or questions on types of feeds that I prefer, ask below. Thanks for watching.